about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away To a place where we don't know Hey, hey! And welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, just take a quick second and hit that subscribe button below us. Ah, right over there. Okay, today we are trying Starbucks Beyond Meat Egg Cheese Breakfast Sandwich. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! It's new to mm -hmm. Canada. When we picked it up today, our local Starbucks, the one right closest to us, actually said we were the first people to order it. They did. Yeah, they were. Sort of confused. <laughs> yeah. In Canadian dollars, this little bad boy that doesn't look that impressive um, was $5.95. It better be filling for $5.95. Yeah, it's so not cheap what? for what's on that plate. Yeah. We've had Beyond Meat before. We tried the A&W Beyond Meat, so I'm guessing it obviously has the same general taste. Do they add their own spices? I don't know. So, the Beyond Meat Egg Cheese breakfast sandwich. I mean, it's a little peak. It looks like an egg McMuffin. I can't, I can't really open it. It's a little compressed. We've been, we've had it for a little while. It's, mm -hmm. But it, it has the Beyond Meat egg and then there is cheese on that. And then it's uh, English muffin type yeah. bread. So we're going to cut it into three and we're just going to share it. Mind my fingers. I washed them yesterday. I promise. Yesterday? Oh my goodness. Kelly, like, the butcher gear. Well, it's like <laughs> hard. Oh boy. Oh, it has that Beyond Meat smell. Oh, uh, the texture. Hold on. How's the inside look? Let's take a look. It's that, that texture. Weird, it like, looks like the, we well, can gummy. see the like bits of like vegetable. It looks, gr it looks gritty. Yeah. yeah. So our, uh, well, maybe the egg will make a difference. We'll see. All right. But let's go. Try it. Like I said, do you guys smell it? It smells like sausage. So I'm guessing Beyond it Meat It smells sausage. like breakfast yeah. sausage. It does smell like breakfast sausage. The texture's freaking me out a little because it's a little like gummy looking. It's that's very, the like considering you cut it, it's very like perfectly cut. Yeah. It looks like it should be more like ragged. And... But all right, let's all right, let's find out. I... Uh... Okay, first impressions. I am not a breakfast, a regular breakfast sausage fan anyway. And it tastes like a sausage. It does taste like a sausage. I don't like the taste and I don't like the texture. Yeah, definitely not digging the Beyond Meat. It's overpowering. It's the, I don't like the taste of it. It's too much seasoning on there. It's the egg and the cheese are kind of gross. I'm just gonna try like a bit of the Beyond Meat patty itself. It's just really overpowering the taste. Yeah, so this is just a piece of the Beyond Meat patty itself. And yeah, it kind of has a slimy texture. Ugh, that's what I don't like. Gooey. It's, it's, it's slimy, it's gooey. It's kind of like gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. There's yeah. not a lot of flavor to it, and it's gonna weird aftertaste. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I'm I'm all against this Beyond Meat. This but this variant of Beyond Meat at least. The bun's good. It's a Starbucks bun. The egg on its own is fine. Yeah, I clearly I'm not a fan of the the Beyond Meat. It's just not my jam. So far, it's yeah, 0 for two for Beyond Meat to I think it's made a, products for us. I think it's a great alternative for people that don't eat meat. It's not enough for me to like choose this over meat. Yeah, I would still choose like a real breakfast sausage versus this. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I would definitely get an egg muffin over this. Um, yeah, I just cut it for five, and five ninety five. I mean. Yeah, for six bucks, it's a lot of money. It is a great option. Meat burger. It is a great option for vegetarians, though. But the bun, the bread's good. We'll have a piece of the bread then. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an egg muffin. I'll ask the question. Was it worth the trip to Starbucks? Nope. Not at all. Not for this uh, plant-based burger. Not worth the trip. No, not for me either. The Beyond Meat. I think that this is the second time I've tried it in a different capacity, but still the same. Nope. No, no, not good at all. The bun's good. Beyond the meat. Beyond meat, sorry. <laughs> we not still good. yelled at us last time. Yeah. Beyond meat, not good. Not worth the trip. So Starbucks, sorry. And like I said, maybe it's just because we we are meat people and we like meat, so it's gonna take a lot to get us to like not to have an alternative. But I'm sure it's great for vegetarians out there who normally oh yeah hundred percent yeah. If you can't eat meat, good alternative. If you can eat meat, right now we would say stick to the meat. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, let us know you liked it, and hit that bell down below for notifications if you miss any future uploads. Comment down below if you tried this Beyond Meat Starbucks breakfast sandwich. Let us know what your thoughts are. We didn't like it. What do you think? <laughs> to my right or left, we have a couple of video links over here. One recommended by our friends at YouTube. One underneath it, the playlist of Trips content. Spend some time with us, we'll spend time with you. Click a link. YouTube and chill. Let's do it. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.